we get this report from Ming Chi Kuo who says that the iPhone 12 series may not bundle any earphones whatsoever this year for the first time ever. Ever since the original iPhone, there have been some sort of earphones in the box. They used to come with a headphone jack and then that got chucked out, so now they come with the lightning uh, adapter. But for the first time ever, according to his new report, no earphones whatsoever. And this is because Apple essentially want everyone to go out and buy AirPods. He also says that Apple may be reducing the price of AirPods in line with the iPhone 12 launch to sort of get everyone to go over and buy AirPods if they haven't already. He also mentions that he thinks a new version of AirPods will be coming out at the start of next year. There have been lots of rumors about the end of this year for a new version of AirPods, maybe called AirPods Lite. He thinks this rumor is in relation to some new Beats uh, that will be coming out at the end of this year and not AirPods, under the AirPods brand anyway. He thinks that that's Beats next year for the new AirPods. Some other rumors conflicting this, but definitely some new TWS earphones coming out towards the end of this year, whether they're Beats or AirPods, I guess we'll have to wait and see. With the Note 20 series, it looks like Samsung have already made their decision. No launch events for this phone with everything going on. It's just absolutely impossible. So the first time ever in Samsung history that a flagship smartphone anyway will be launched online. The event is penciled in for August still, so look out for August for the official launch of the Note 20 series, an online only launch event. And also with the Note 20 series, we also got this online today, which I'm thinking is maybe a case maker, but I'm pretty sure this isn't a leaked CAD render of the Note 20 Plus from Samsung. We can definitely see some of the designs and we've seen yesterday, we got the camera bump design leaked. So we know that it's gonna be a triple camera setup, an ultra wide, a main and a periscope zoom camera down at the bottom. Another sensor on the right hand side, which I guess is a depth sensor, maybe another sensor for focusing. So you can see this CAD render definitely follows that design in terms of the camera bump. And also we do know that the Note 20 series is probably going to follow on from the Note 10 series in terms of the design, so a bit boxier. And that is only a good thing for me. I love the Note 10's design. The screen just looks amazing. And according to Ice Universe, they may just be making that bottom bezel a bit smaller. Really, the bezels around all of the sides smaller still, just making this a really full screen phone. In terms of this render though, really not sure. The pen is on the wrong side, usually on the right hand side. Would Samsung try and put it on the other side? Maybe not. So something like what the Note 20 is gonna be, but probably not the real thing. And also some really big Samsung news is that for the first time ever, I think Samsung may actually be looking to get displays, OLED displays anyway, for their phones, not from Samsung. Now we get news that Samsung Electronics have actually put an order request into BOE, which is a Chinese uh, OLED manufacturer and LCD screen manufacturer for some 90 Hertz OLED displays. As this is for 90 Hertz displays, we would assume that maybe these BOE screens would go into some cheaper Samsung phones like the A series, but for sure BOE are definitely making a big impact on the industry good enough and probably cheaper than Samsung display panels for Samsung's A-series phones. We don't really know too much more information or if Samsung are gonna go through with this, but it is said that BOE makes some cheaper panels and the electronics part of the Samsung group does want to actually just save some money for their mid-range phones. Yeah, understandable. And also in the news, Pixel 5 leaks rumors definitely showing us Google are doing something different this year. It looks like now very much confirmed that the Pixel 5 will be a mid-range smartphone. However, we got other leaks about maybe the price of the Pixel 5 coming at $700. I guess this isn't decided yet, but we may not see a flagship smartphone from Google this year, although it looks like it's going to be flagship in the design and the features and also the camera, just not the SoC. Definitely some big changes in Pixel World today and lots more information to come on this phone before it launches towards the end of the year. Of course, I'll keep you updated. But anyway, that is your tech news for today. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.